The eleven disciples went to the hill in Galilee where Jesus told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, even though some of them doubted. Jesus drew near and said to them, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Go then to all the people everywhere and make them my disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teach them to obey everything I have commanded you, and I will be with you always, even to the end of the age. And some doubted. You know, doubt is a perfectly natural response, and sometimes it can be a good thing. You know the old saying, if, if, someone come, if, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. <laughs> or if someone comes up to you and says, I got a deed for you really cheap on this bridge across the Detroit River, I think it's perfectly good, perfectly good and reasonable to doubt it. But in this particular case, doubt is another one of the tools that the devil uses. Doubt can be overcome in a number of ways, to prayer, of course, but also seeing the gospel lived in people's lives. Take someone who is hungry. They may not think God is there because they're hungry and nothing is going to be done for them. They might even starve. But if someone comes along and feeds that person or gives that person a job so they can be fed and then feed their families, then that person's doubt can be overcome. Our actions overcome doubt.